Hi, I'm Jason Webster, Bex Hybrids, Practical Farm Research Innovation League. Today we are in Caneyville, Kentucky, continuing our tour, talking with growers trying to grow high yielding corn. With us today is Brad Green. Brad is one of Bex Hybrids 300 bushel participants this year. Also with us is Les Radford. Les is the seed advisor for this uh, uh, area here in Kentucky. Tell us, what have you done as far as agronomic practices go that are different in this field compared to your acres in your normal operation? Well, we started last fall with running the inline ripper through this field. A few of the things that we've done that we normally don't do on every acre is it's got about 50 pounds more nitrogen. We increased our population by about 4,000 seeds per acre. Mm -hmm. And we're running the inline and fungicide in furrow this year. We've, we've not done that in the past. And we took tissue samples before side dress and, and our herbicide, post herbicide application to see if there was anything the plant needed that it was lacking that we could add during those, uh, those applications. And that's what we've done a little bit different than we've done on our base acres. Tell us a little bit about your fertility program in regard to nitrogen. How many trips are you making in the field with split applications and what is your grand total amount of nitrogen? We're running uh, two trips with nitrogen application. We run 20 gallons down as a carrier for our pre-plant herbicides. Mm -hmm. And on this particular field, I threw some ure urea in with uh, P and K, which I don't do typically. We're usually a 100% liquid program just to get that extra nitrogen because it was, it was easier to put it on then than it was side dress. And then we came back about a week ago and put 35 more gallons of 28% down, which gives us a total of about uh, 250 pounds of nitrogen on this field. Okay, so you came in, you said about a week ago and side dressed this field. We're about at the V7 grow stage now. So you were out here about the, the V4, V5 right. grow stage? I probably would have been a little bit sooner, but Mother Nature wouldn't let us back in due to wet conditions. We got on it just as soon as we could to, to side dress. Now Les is a seed advisor in this specific area. Mm -hmm. What have you found useful in the Practical Farm Research book as far as agronomic studies go that has helped you put a plan together with Brad for his 300 bushel challenge? Uh, I know they do a lot of nitrogen studies and they've been real useful to us as far as whether split applications are the best uh, and they have paid off most of the time and most of my guys are, are, are doing a side dress of some sort in this area. And then they do, the population studies have been good, particularly the ones that uh, t tell us whether we need to replant at a certain population and that kind of thing has been really effective. For Brad, tell us a little bit about crop scouting from this point. You've got all your fertility in place. You just made your last side dress application a week ago. Tell us about where you're going to go from here. Talk about crop scouting, how you're going to monitor this crop. Well, we have a crop scout on our farm that scouts every acre, and I've been working close with Dave Wilson from Bex Hybrids with the Farm Survey Program. That's all new to me, but one thing we're going to do from this point on is use some crop health imaging, because when it gets July the 20th and it's 95 degrees outside and the corn's this tall, I'm not going to be out here scouting corn. And we're going to, we're going to look at that imaging to see if there's a spot out here that it might be throwing up a red flag that needs something, needs some attention, and why it looks like that. So that's where the crop health imaging is going to really come in to be a useful tool for us. Be sure to check back in with us next month as we continue to follow Brad on his personal journey to 300 bushel corn. We'll check back in and we'll find out some of the results of his tissue testing and see what this crop needs to finish in order to get that high yield 300 bushel level. In the meantime, this has been Jason Webster, Beck Cybers, Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead, following this farmer's personal journey to 300 bushel corn.